Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys, so this is my second nighttime vlog. Like I said, I didn't want that one to be, like, super long. I don't know how long vlogs are supposed to be, so I was like, okay, let's keep that under 10 minutes. So the second half that I wanted to talk to you guys about is that I had just posted um, something that Snoop posted on Instagram, and so it's causing definitely a discussion. So I want to go ahead and read it to you guys because I want to talk about this because I'm passionate about it, and I just don't like this this the things that these celebrities try to perpetuate is such bs so this is what snoop posted today so i'm going to read it to you guys he says everyone wants this but what y'all forget was she was with wild gucci on drugs gucci cheating gucci in jail gucci publicity with other women gucci this is the Gucci after therapy slash rehabilitation. This is a street groom. This is a street man groomed in his 30s after he's been at his lowest point. This is a writer who knew what she signed up for. You bitches is with the next nigga after a couple fights. And this man has over 281,000 likes on that. So you know me, honey. I'm the voice of reason and dissension, okay? I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. I don't like this whole, we're going to push the narrative that, you know, women, especially black women, need to have this ride or die mentality. And the thing that kind of trips me out with that is that so many times people are like, oh, all black women like thugs. You guys are always dating jailbirds and losers and all this stuff. And then you'll have people like Snoop, you know, who's now, what, I think he's in his 50s. Instead of him trying to perpetuate something positive, he's telling females that they need to be ride or die. Like, you know, you're wrong for leaving your nigga after one argument. Like, what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? How about instead of encouraging women to be ride or die, how about we encourage men to start being better men at younger ages? How about we start encouraging men to do the right thing, like not selling drugs, not cheating, not having babies out out of wedlock by every chick on the block you know what i'm saying how about we start teaching them at 16 17 18 to have respect for their bodies you know what i'm saying and to do the right thing and to not go to jail and to not go into the prison industrial complex i think that's something better that a man can teach another man as opposed to a man telling women that you should put up with all this shit because you know what i'm saying that you too can be like keisha kai or let me say this keisha kai or situation is literally one in a million okay Keisha Kai Orr lucked up with Gucci. She lucked up because at some point in time, Gucci man was willing to change, okay? But for the average woman like me or you, you know what I'm saying? When you're dating some dude who's some bad boy in and out of jail, you know what I'm saying? Things like that. You don't have those same luxuries, you know what I mean? You don't you don't get fame from it. You might get hood fame, but you don't have the same luxuries. A lot of time the average woman who's holding down this so called, you know, bad boy, drug dealer, in and out of jail, in and out of rehab ends up being a broke ass single mother having to struggle the daddy's long gone and guess what now she's in a situation where her children are probably destined to repeat the same cycle. So this type of mentality is dangerous, and I don't like that. I don't like that being perpetuated, especially for young girls to see that. Now, let's keep it 100, okay? Just because Snoop's wife wanted to be a ride or die while Snoop had side babies on her, that's her choice. But if the next woman says, you know what, you're getting somebody pregnant while you're married with me, I'm out, she has every right to be out. You, you cannot shame somebody because they're not willing to put up with your bullshit. And I think that's the sad part that we keep telling women, oh, you need to hold a man down. You need to be there through his struggles. No. Men need to come to the table with certain things. You know what I'm saying? I think respect goes both ways. If you want me to hold you down, be the type of man that I can hold down. Period. Point blank. You know, and I think that's the part that's just really unfortunate because Snoop knows damn well he would not encourage his own daughter, Chop, to sit here and date some dude that's in and out of prison, selling drugs, not on shit. He wouldn't want that for his daughter. So why do you want that for my daughter if I had one? Why would you want that for my nieces? I have several nieces. Why would you want that for my cousins or any of my young female subscribers? 
No, I want my ladies to aspire to something higher. There's a lot of good men out here who are not in and out of jail, who don't have criminal records, who aren't gang banging, selling drugs and shit like that. How about we put those types of men on a pedestal as opposed to the bad boy, as opposed to the gang banger, as opposed to the Takashi 6 9s and the Treyways. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we perpetuate this bullshit then we get upset when, when young boys want to follow that route because that's what's being seen as manly. And then when they follow that route and they get caught up in the prison industrial complex and, you know, they're doing time for, you know, trying to keep up this bad boy persona, then we're telling young girls to waste the best years of their life holding down some jailbird. Get the fuck out of here, okay? As a woman, you need to hold down a good man who's willing to be a father and willing to build a family with you, not some dude who's going from, you know, this chick to that chick who's doing all types of shit that's bringing you stress and, you know, aging you prematurely. You know, while you're holding on this dude, you're getting older, okay? And then he can just up and leave you once you hit 30 for somebody younger. You know what I mean? So it's like we need to stop that mentality because we know damn well if the roles were reversed, if that was Keisha Kai or out there acting like a bird, like a hoe, you know what I'm saying, running around with different guys in and out of jail doing check scams, do you really think Gucci Man would have held her down and wifed her? I think not, okay? He'd be called all types of simps and fools and everything else. Do you think if Shantae was out here fucking everything under the sun and having side babies on Snoop, do you think Snoop would have stayed with her? I highly doubt it, okay? So it's funny that, you know, a woman is supposed to hold down a man. No matter the situation, he can be the worst dude, the most trifling dude. You're supposed to hold them down, especially as a black woman. But you know damn well if the genders were reversed, there would be no holding down of the black woman if she was the one out here behaving ratchet and behaving unqueenly. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll, I'll consider you a king and I'll hold you down like a king when you act like a king. Point blank, period. So I just wasn't feeling that. And I had to, you know, post my opinion. And I wanted to, you know, even though it has 200,000, likes and he has a big fan base I have to keep it real because I don't want young girls to see that and think that you know they should be obligated to hold down some young boy who's not doing the right thing no you hold down the young boy who's actually trying to make something of himself who's going to school who's on the right track you know what I'm saying who's not trying to be out here gang banging and you know collecting mug shots those are the young men that you go out your way to hold down not the drug dealers the drug users the abusers the people who are basically you know giving you your ass ticket trying to see how much they can put you through to see you know if you're really that down ass bitch because a lot of times in the real world having that down ass bitch mentality just brings you a lot of heartache headache high blood pressure and an early damn grave okay so I don't know that's just you know just me talking you know that's just my vlog for the night my little nighttime chat so I hope you guys like this um like I said, we can do this, you know, a few times a week, once a week, or we can do it never again if you don't like it. But I just wanted to just come on and just, you know, just talk about some random stuff in a more like, you know, just comfortable setting with me kind of vlogging in the camera. So I just didn't agree with Snoop's point. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with holding someone down if they are worthy of being held down. Now, I do love Gucci Man and Keisha Kai Or's relationship now. I think Gucci has changed. He's changed for the better. Him and Keisha seem really happy and I really do like them as a couple but I would never tell anybody to make them their couple goals and do everything Keisha did you know what I'm saying because nine times out of ten your man ain't Gucci he don't have the Gucci money he doesn't have the Gucci fame you know what I'm saying so don't waste your years running behind some thug ass dude just like for the men don't waste your years running behind some you know exotical thought you know what I'm saying because you want the exotical girls and you're ignoring the girl who's actually you know handling in her business and doing what she has to do going to school you know what I'm saying because that's what a lot of guys do they'll run behind thoughts and you know all the little pretty girls and then when those same girls you know get pregnant get them on child support play them you know they got four other dudes they're talking to then they want to come back with the mush mouth shit now it's oh I need a melanin queen who can hold me down but the whole time you were younger you wouldn't even look at the melanated chicks you know what I'm saying you were going after all the exotical girls that everybody wanted on their arm you know what I'm saying so it's like as people we had to make the right decision and it's better to make the right decision when you're younger 
than opposed to when you're older. Because a lot of times what will happen is that you'll find yourself in a bad position. That person that you really wanted, they're, they don't want you. Or, you know, they're doing something else with their life or they're way up here. That same person that you weren't feeling, that same dude that was a nerd, he was a geek. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't thug enough. And now he's running his own business. You know what I'm saying? He got a 405 company. He's doing his thing. And now he won't look at you twice. And that goes the same for women. You know, the same woman that you ignore because she wasn't, you know, she didn't have long, silky hair and you know bright green eyes and just whatever you know these dudes fetishize and now that same chick that you ignored in high school because she didn't look a particular way now she's handling her business and now you want a shot and she's like no I'm good you know so the whole situation is crazy but this is for all the young ladies do not be a ride or die chick don't let people plant that seed in your head it's bs and same for guys. If a woman's not treating you right and she's not worthy of being your queen, cut that shit off and let it go. No one should have to hold anyone down who's not even willing to hold themselves down. Why am I going to put more energy into you and trying to make you a better person than you are even willing to put into yourself? Okay? So that's something that we all should take away from this, regardless of your gender, your, you know, um, ethnicity, regardless of your sexual orientation. Never put more work into someone else than what they're willing to put into themselves. So anyways, that was my, you know, vlog for the night. So yeah, go ahead and leave a comment. Good night.